Hey, this is Steve Stolacci. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been doing with a bunch of my presets that I've been having like really like amazing and unexpected results with. So essentially what this is, is I started running my delays and my reverbs in parallel with my signal path. So what this means in layman's terms, because I'm really not super techie about this or super, uh, I don't know, I guess like studio savvy about what exactly it's called or what exactly it is. But really what I picture this as is I'm splitting my signal into two paths. Like I have my amp sound and then I have my affected sound. It's similar to wet, dry, wet, but it's not stereo. And I think it that needs three channels. This is two channels. It could be considered wet, dry or in parallel, whatever. I just know what it sounds like. If you have a exact terminology for this that you would like me to use, let me know in the comments. So really what this is, I have my dry amp sound. That's one solid beam is what I picture in my head of sound that's going to my desk or going to the recording software. And then I have a second channel that I'm summing to mono, but it's a more super wet sound. So if I show you an HX edit, what I have, I have my amp sounds, my cabinet and all my preamp stuff here. Um, and then I have a split here, a split Y path that splits my signal dead center and even. So this path takes me to 2A, which is here. And this is my delay and my reverb settings. And then this path B goes directly to my output. Now there are a couple of ways to do this. You can actually take this and close off the path um, like if you're, for example, in the HX stomp, you can do this move where you would just take this and drive it up here and you'd get the same exact, um, effect, just changing the level. So how I make this work is that I take the super affected signal, which is this path to a, and it's also set to multi, but if you notice here, I have it dropped in volume. So I basically have it less volume. So I picture faders in my head where the super dry out front signal is up here and then the super wet affected signal is down here and I can mix and match those as I choose. I keep the dry unaffected signal at even because that's my base. And then uh, with this one, I drop the volume down more. So let's hear what this sounds like. Um, first I'll do it with a clean setting. So this is a clean snapshot I have on this preset and you're gonna hear how, how much you can hear the sound of the initial attack and how upfront the guitar sound is and then the delays and reverbs are like seated below it, which I really enjoy and I really like playing with. So you hear how the initial notes are like right up front and there, and then the nice delay and reverb sit beneath it. So it, to me, it really sounds like a combo amp type of reverb now where that direct signal is still so far out in front. I feel like sometimes with reverbs and delays in the Helix, the mix control doesn't work the way I want it to sometimes. And I think that this really affects, really changes it and makes it the way that I would use it or that I would like to use it. So let's hear some more of that where just pay attention to how much the note comes through first and then you hear that delay and reverb underneath. And that's just the clean sound. So I'm gonna kick on the lead sound for this preset.
So you hear how much ambience and trail off it has, but you still hear the note out front and it doesn't get buried underneath. So I use this for like, I guess like a, if you want to call it epic or like soaring type of solo, I named this preset power ballad, but like, I just feel like having that note pop through first and having the delay and the reverb trail underneath it is like such a good sound. So what makes this work properly and how you can picture this in your head is that I'm splitting the signal so that my solid dry guitar signal is up here, and then I have an affected signal running parallel to that, where this bottom signal is super wet with reverb and delay. And if I isolate that sound, all you would hear is wash. But that first sound, all you hear is dry. So I'll show you what these sound like if I isolate the pads. So for right now, I'm just gonna change this to an AB because it really doesn't matter as long as it's splitting the signal. So if I route this all the way to path A, you get the 100% effective signal. If I route this to path B, you get the 100% dry sound. So splitting it back down the middle, you get a perfect marriage of the two. And how I mix these is in the outputs. So here I have my output set to zero because that's my solid signal that I don't want to compromise. And then here I drop this like 17 dB. So if I bring this up to zero, so now this is like if my two paths are exactly the same on the fader, Well, obviously that's super intense. So if I drop this down to zero now or minus 120, whatever it is, um, it's back to the dry sound. And then as I play, I will increase this level until I'm happy. So there you can hear some of the ambience, but it's still not there yet. I'm gonna keep bringing this up. I like it, but it's still not wet enough for me. When I started this, got right in there. So I think I had this about 17 was my sweet spot for this. And 
that's about where I keep it um, for the two clean and the lead preset. For the crunch preset that I have on this, I don't use this. I have a regular room reverb that is going to sound more like this. It's the same concept, the wet signals all the way up. And this is what that sounds like. But the same concept applies. You, st you still hear the crunchy sound up front, but the reverb sound is definitely below it and out of its way, which is what makes this so appealing to me. But yeah, same concept applies. That's just 100% wet signal, uh, just drop down 17 dB in comparison to the dry signal. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I want you to try this out, um, post videos of it, tag me, and I want to hear what you sound like using this type of thing. And if you have any questions, as usual, leave them below, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.